Hey everybody, it's Jenny, aka Coopdizzle. I'm gonna try and make a really quick video because I haven't done a video in forever. I am on some hydrocodone and some cough medicine, and usually nighttime is when I take that because my children are asleep, and so I cough less. I, I still cough quite a bit, and at this point I'm wheezy, so. Okay, so for my YouTube viewers who don't make it over to my Facebook page, which that link is down below, so if I'm ever gone for quite a bit of time, you can always go to my Facebook page, which is called Coop Dizzle's Battle, and check out information I post up there all the time. So, um, so in September I had some scans, and we had noticed that there was some growth. Um, there was some growth in a chest lymph node, and in the lining of my lung, which I didn't even know um, that there was growth in the lining of my lung. Um, and in one of my previous visits with my doctor, I mentioned that my shoulder pain was coming back, and that is pretty much non-stop at this point. Not even hydrocodone <coughs> makes that pain go away. And I've also been getting really bad, sharp chest pains, like right in here. Um, so my doctor wanted to take some scans to see what was going on, even though it had, it had not been the three month mark, which is usually how often they take scans. Um, and what he noticed was there was a little bit of growth pretty much everywhere. So in my diaphragm and my chest, um, pretty much everything that had shrunk has slightly grown bigger. Um, the the diaphragm lesions have grown, which is explaining why my shoulder is starting to hurt. Um, but your trachea, aka your windpipe, um, it splits at some point to go to your lungs. Right where it splits, there's a lymph node right underneath where that trachea splits, and it was 1.5 centimeters, which it was not there in September but it is there now and what's happening is um, there's some other lymph nodes around there that are swollen that have started to grow back again um, and basically what they're doing is they're pinching off an airway they're pinching off that that trachea that splits off to the right lung um, which is causing some damage in my lung <coughs> um, coughing is really really bad um, sometimes I have really bad coughing fits where I feel like I cannot breathe afterwards. Um, I have a hard time sleeping because I'm wheezy. Um, I don't know. But my husband's home, so I'm going to wrap this up. I thought I had a little bit more time. Um, hold on just a second. Okay, I don't think that was my husband. Okay, so, so what I have to do now... I. And I don't have to do it, but I feel like this is the part of my treatment where I'm screwed if I do this and I'm screwed if I do this um, because I have to do radiation on those lymph nodes, um, which will help me breathe. It will help with the coughing. Um, you know, I thought, <clears throat> I thought it was a mixture of like allergies and not being able to heal because I'm on chemo. And I've been on chemo since May. I feel it's a mix of emotions because I feel really grateful that I had six months on Halloween, which is the chemotherapy that I was on, um, because there are a lot of women in my support group that only get a few treatments or only a few months and Halloween stops working. Um, so I feel really kind of in a way blessed that I've gotten six months off of this chemo. Um, the thing about terminal cancer, the thing about cancer in general, is that it's a very smart disease and it mutates and it grows and um, and I was reading a report that my doctor had um, saved to my medical thingamabob online and he basically in a nutshell called my cancer stubborn and um, he is very correct. Um, In January, I will be doing a brain MRI to see what's going on in, in my head. 
Um, but as far as the lymph nodes in my chest go, I will be doing 14 rounds of radiation to my chest area, right under that sternum. <coughs> And um, that's Monday through Friday for three weeks. I'll be starting on Monday, which will probably be, I don't know when I'm going to post this or whatever, but it'll be Monday and then I'll finish on Christmas Eve. Hopefully it won't be burned. Um, the first time I did radiation, I did 25 rounds of radiation and I, I burned pretty well. I didn't blister, but I burned pretty well. And so I'm hoping that um, since I'm only having 14 rounds of radiation that it won't be so bad. Um, but my technician was telling me that um, I was originally supposed to have more radiation sessions. But I'm really worried about being off of chemo for so long because we are treating just this one area. Which leaves the rest of me exposed in a way. Um, it gives the cancer opportunity to kind of run rampant in my body and that's why I feel like I'm screwed either way. It's like, you know, like this is the beginning of the end in my mind. And I, I'm trying to stay really positive, um, but I know how cancer works. I'm not stupid um, or naive. You know, I, if, if there's miracle that wants to happen to me, I'll be more than happy to take miracle and give glory to what needs to be given glory to. <laughs> um, but realistically, I know that um, if I don't treat it systematically with the chemo, um, that's just giving the cancer an opportunity to run rampant. And if a, if a lymph node can in a two month time frame go from nothing to 1.5 centimeters, which is half an inch, then what else is going to happen in a month and a half of no chemotherapy at all? So I'm trying to be really positive, but um, just feeling really down. But I'm trying to, you know, stay busy and do things. You know, I'm trying to set up lunch dates with friends while I'm in town or dinner plans. I, I We did a movie night thing tonight online and it was so much fun. We watched Love Actually and we had some chats going on and it was just really nice to know that um, there were a number of people around the world that were watching a movie with me so I'm kind of going to want to make that a regular thing so that should be a lot of fun and it's a nice distraction so um, I'm trying to think of what else is going on. My mom is about the same. Um, she's pretty much can't do jack squat right now. Uh, she actually started hospice and I have done a lot of research and if you are a stroke patient and your stroke is severe enough and your caretaker cannot be with you 24-7, you do qualify for hospice and that is what she's doing right now. Um, and I, since I'm going to be there quite often during the week, ne during the next few weeks, I'm going to go ahead and get registered for hospice. Not saying that I'm going into hospice, but I'm getting all the paperwork done and ready for hospice. So, um, I think that's about it. I'm loopy. <laughs> I'm on medication. Um, so I'm really sorry that I haven't done a video in quite a while. Things have really been piling up with me emotionally and physically and um, sometimes my cough is worse and sometimes it's better and uh, it's kind of a crapshoot as far as, um, I mean it changes from minute to minute. Um, I could walk from here to my bathroom and have a major coughing fit so as long as I'm not talking. <laughs> or moving, I'm fine. Um, I've held back quite a few coughs during this video. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because I don't want to start coughing because I can feel the coughing coming on. So anyway, I hope that everyone has a very Merry Christmas and a safe New Year's. Um, please do not drink and drive. If you drink and you're not home, call a cab. Be responsible. Um, check your boobs check your balls <laughs> and when life gets really overwhelming just think this too shall pass hope you guys have a great night love you bye, -bye.